Welcome to this presentation about the open source Lysum software, a software used for simulating multiple natural hazards. Today I'd like to tell you a little bit about it. My name is Bastian van den Bout, and together with my colleague Professor Victor Jette, we develop and maintain this software. Here you see some examples of simulation results obtained using Lysum. So tsunami simulation, flow path analysis, wave behavior, floods, multi-hazard, or landslide runout. All of these are simulated using the Lysum software. Now, natural hazards can be categorized based on their point of origin, so atmospheric, surface, deep subsurface, or space. And when we look at all the hazards that occur, uh, there's a lot of interactions between them. And we try to fill the niche where there's a big gap in the software availability, which is the space where multi-hazard simulations are carried out. And we want to cover the individual processes as well as the interactions that they have. There's many tools, for example, that do flood simulation or landslide simulation, but there are virtually no other tools that do multi-hazard and the interactions between those processes. And we try to incorporate even more things like ground shaking from earthquakes or hurricane intensity differences by looking at inputs into the system. Now, as I mentioned, Lysum is meant to do integration of multi-hazard simulation. We try to make it flexible and customizable. So we make the assumptions part of the user choice, not part of the model's choice. And we try to model at a fundamental level so that larger behavioral patterns emerge from those fundamental laws. We have some additional tools uh, to help with dealing with uncertainties and complex simulations and gathering and processing data easier. Now, the Lysa model builds on over 30 years of expert knowledge, originally starting out as the Limburg soil erosion model. Um, and in those 30 years, a lot of development has taken place. It provides an integrated approach to modeling, both spatially and temporally, and it does multi hazard simulation, implementing these from fundamental approach. Now, there's two versions that you might be interested in. The classic version is mostly interface based and meant to provide a more stable and uh, user interface focused simulation tool. Then the Lysum hazard tool provides a lot more scripting abilities and a lot more processes. And here the user can also do custom definition of how these processes should interact and how the boundary conditions are set up. We have a website, lysummodel.com, a YouTube channel with some tutorials and the codes for the classic as well as the hazard version are available on GitHub. Now, let's start out with the classic version. Here you see an example of the, the Windows interface as you, uh, which you get when you open the software itself. Now, the model principles are based on, on detailed simulation, fully spatially distributed. So we provide a lot of input data, uh, the ask from the user to the model, and these input data is usually described also fractions of the terrain. So for example, sub-pixel level channels uh, or roads that cover part of pixels, buildings, etc. And this allows us to describe the landscape in a skill-independent manner. We feature several flow types, 1D and 2D for channels and surface flow, and they are linked. And everything is fully integrated with erosion and hydrology. So our hydrological uh, description is, as you would expect, uh, starting from precipitation, vegetation, soil effects, etc., etc., all towards a recharge of rivers and finally groundwater flow towards the outlet. Now, surface flow we simulate using the St. Fanal equations, so full, uh, yeah, dynamical flow simulation, including gravity, pressure, frictional forces, and inertia. Finally, a schematic depiction of the model setup. Uh, you see also a little bit what kind of data is typically required on the left, the processes on the right, and then some of the uh, methodologies that we use to solve those processes. And here you find an example of a running model. So on the top left, we have the interface uh, with all the options open. So this is where you provide the different input maps, select the processes you want to model. And on the bottom right, you see the running model Satellite image has a background showing the water height during a simulation. Now, Lysum Hazard has been a more recent development focusing at multi-hazard simulation, which is a bit more of a new field of study. And here we try to do, besides hydrology and flow, also slope stability, landslides, dairy flows, tsunamis, and coastal processes. 
There's a scripting environment available here, so users can make customized models, linking the processes in the way that they like, uh, and also automatic calibration. Besides that, we also have a lot of functionality for data processing, uh, because this is a very big step in providing and setting up these kind of models, making the data, processing the data in the correct way. And finally, we have a, a raster editor, sort of a painting tool for geodata, which we find useful. Now, the underlying principles here are very much similar to the ones from the classic Lysum, uh, but in addition, we have slope stability uh, calculations done in the background based on the hydrology. Then two-phase flow equations used for generalized flow behavior from water to debris flows to rock avalanches to landslides. And then finally, Buzinesque equations for coastal uh, wave processes. With the scripting, we provide some automatic calibration, brute force, gradient descent, and you can also link it with real-time forecast data, for example. So an example of the hazard interface, here you see the, uh, the model uh, tab open, where you can select the processes again, select the input data that you want to provide for the model, and on the left, the visualization of a landslide runout scenario. And this is very much similar to the Lysen Classic model. Couple changes are uh, when you start looking at, for example, the viewer data, so there's a bit more customization option there. You can view data in 3D and add custom layers such as rasters, shape files, point clouds, web layers, etc. And also do reprojection on the fly in order to visualize your model results while they are running or analyze them afterwards. And each of these layers you can specify colors, etc., uh, hill shading. Uh, in order to visualize things in a nicer way. Now the scripting tool is where most of the, the work typically happens here because this is sort of a, a powerful tool for data pre-processing and also for customizing uh, simulations. So all of the processes that I talked about so far are available as simple functions in the scripting environment. The flow model, the slope stability model, the erosion model, the infiltration model are all single function tools that you can call from the script to make your own customized uh, models with just the processes that are relevant for your case. And where you can also link them in new ways, allowing for innovation in multi-hazard research. The example you see here on the right is, uh, on the right bottom is a, is a command line also where you can do quick uh, pre-processing of your input data. And input data is important. These kind of models often require many layers for simulating complex events. Um, in this case, for an area in Italy, you see some of these layers visualized here. And the scripting allows for easy preparation of data. Things like warping, interpolation, classification, simulation, filtering, projecting, analysis, derivatives, rasterizing, and much more uh, can all be done there, allowing for automated setup in modeling. So the example here, uh, we have an elevation model, we can calculate the slope in a single line, or if we have some missing data, we can fill that in, also using a single line command. Now the software is uh, written in C++. We use some libraries, of course, Qt for the interface, Tdal for data in and output, OpenGL and OpenCL for visualization and compute using the GPU, OpenMP for multi-core processing, and many more other dependencies that uh, I won't go into detail about now. All the code is available on GitHub with the license GPL3, um, and we provide compiled Windows binaries on SourceForge as well. Compilation on Linux is possible, but does take some extra work. Um, for more information, of course, please visit also the website uh, www.licensemodel.com. And yeah, talking about supporting technologies, we try to solve them as fast as we can. Um, <laughs> so that's why also why we build it in, in C++. Uh, and do data prep preparation and output using GDAL. But as you might know from experience, uh, parallel computing is easier in theory than it is in practice. Um, so the results are pretty good, but uh, there's always uh, yeah, development and, and progress uh, going on. Thank you so much.